good to start out with a chuckle, <laughs> isn't it? Isn't it, you guys? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, happy Wednesday. Hello and welcome to the brand new Wednesday episode of LMJ Goods. Wild Wednesdays, we're calling we're, it. Yes, no more fun Friday. It's going to be a wild, <laughs> wacky <laughs> Wednesdays. <laughs> there will be no, we've. There will be no more fun on Fridays. Absolutely not. not. In fact, I it's may as well let fun. you know my video that's dropping on Wednesday on or on Friday on YouTube um, does have a little simple DIY, but it is it is pretty depressing. Yes. So it's setting the tone. I'm there talking about no a sensitive of... topic. So yeah, and it's um, just. Just be, it's going to be no more fun on Fridays from this from now on. <laughs> yes, it until is. fish fry season comes around again, and then it's going to be really fun again. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm Lynn, and you are watching us here at Ellen J Goods. You're either on Facebook or YouTube. You might be watching this on our website. That's a possibility. But uh, <laughs> honestly, I just somebody reach out to me and tell me if you're watching on our have website. You ever I have no way of knowing. There. Right. Yeah. Have you ever seen us on our website? They're not going to. The tell screen us is right there. Yeah. Like there it is. So um, yeah, we're doing a little project today. This sweet little um, assemblage trinket box with all kinds of antique stuff, and um, we actually have a kit available. Megan's going to be talking about the collection list in just a minute and give you a few updates on that. But I don't think there's a lot of these kits left. It was very limited. Um, I put them together and, and curated them so carefully so that you could have a really special little piece of your own. That said, since the kits are limited, next Friday on YouTube, I will be sharing an edited video showing you how I can create these using um, objects that you may already have or that are easily accessible. So uh, you'll want to mark that down. Keep that keep that at the back of your mind so that you can watch that tutorial next Wednesday on YouTube. Or at the front of your mind because I put everything you'll need for that in the collection for today. So that collection can be found in the description on Facebook up above or down below on YouTube or in the drop down menu at the top of our website under featured on our live tutorials. So in the collection today, you'll find the kit. If there's any left, you can get it there. And you'll find also a list of the other items mom is using or things you could be, use, be using to make the kit yourself if you couldn't get your exactly. hands on the kit. Yep, exactly. And the kit, as we told you before, if you're in our text group, you got first dibs. Yeah. Just yeah. For the, I need a better word than that. I don't like that, but you know what I mean. First, you got the first crack at You got at the it. first crack at it. <laughs> at those when we have a limited thing like this which we do from time to time it's always the text group that gets first access so if you haven't signed up you should sign up and you can find that information in in the places i just described for the collection that's in right. the description on youtube and facebook yeah and that's it wonderful so um who do we have watching today do we have some friends in both places yes do you want me to name them all Oh, you can name a few. Joey Olson, Lisa Friend, well, Laura Hall. Hold on. One second. I'm going to switch the camera down, and at least I'm going to start no. face coding this, all right? I want to see your reaction to every name. Every Megan. Individual. All right. Not everybody wants to see that. Patrice is here. Hi, Diane. Patrice. Hope. Judy. Candice. Judy's from Utah. Hi, Gilly's Judy. here. I feel like hey, I haven't Gilly. seen you in a while. What the heck? Oh, it's Judy from the cruise. Judy from the cruise. She says she lost the use of her arms while on a cruise, but she can use her fingers. Hi, Judy. She can use her fingers. Oh my gosh, how are you? Judy, I hope you're doing better. My goodness, that was, wow. It's, that is just a very awful thing to happen, I'm sorry. But I'm glad you're here today. Glenda's here. Diane. Ruru too. Ruru, tell me what your name is again. I know, I know it's not Ruru. Ask, right? Bad Crumble, what's your name? <laughs> I tried to take Grandma to Crumble cookies last night, but there was a line a mile long. So. That would only make me want it more. Shannon Booth's here on Facebook. Danielle, Betty, Nina, Carol. Oh, let's see. Yes, food does make everything better, Shannon. Sometimes. <laughs> 
Sometimes it does for the moment and then it makes things worse. Exactly. Cheryl's in a cranky mood. <gasps> Cheryl? I have our Cheryl? Yes. Cheryl's never cranky. What's going on? She's counting on us to lift her spirits. I hope oh, we will. Oh, dear. What's wrong? Mary Jo's here. Mary Casey. Oh, Cheryl, I hate to hear that you're cranky. We could have a camp reunion. Yes. It, it, it could be a camp reunion. Absolutely. Oh, yes. Well, there will be one in yes. May 31st. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Sorry you won't be here, Daphne. Dagny. Dagny. Gee whiz, Ma. <laughs> and then another Daphne, too. <laughs> Is Dagny here? No. No, but she, she'll she watch. She'll be glad to hear them. I'm <laughs> called her Daphne. <laughs> I met Daphne Kroll. I'm sorry that you won't be here, Daphne Kroll. Oh, okay. there's someone here who says her sister came to our shop to buy some molds, and she said you were so very kind to her. Oh, well, that's, that's nice. really sweet. Where, do you, where does your sister... From from where does your sister hail? <laughs> Judy, we love you too. I really hope that you're feeling better soon. Um, Patrice has a chest infection. What is oh, going Patrice. on? Oh, Patrice! What is going on? I'm so sorry. So here's what I've done. This is a little four inch um, paper mache box with a lid, of course. So we'll be using that today to create our little assemblage. Um, you can pick these up at various places. Um, if you bought our kit, the kit will have them. Um, you can get the, like the, the ones in the kit are a little bit different than these. Um, but you can pick them up anywhere, you know? You know what I'm saying? You can you can get this kind of thing anywhere. You want me to paint those? No, no, because I'm going to be putting a heavier paper over that. So we don't even need to, to paint it. So I base coated this base with um, white paint because I'm going to be using the Tim Holtz. Uh, what is this one called? This one is called um, Document. This is going to, this is called Document. Mm -hmm. So again, if you don't get the kit or that's a little out of your range or whatever, and you want to use something different, uh, you can use anything on these. But um, I chose the document paper because you can see I have a little bit of a, I have some red going on here because I had these antique cigar labels and I wanted to pick up some of that red throughout this piece. So the document paper had just enough little bit of red in it when you um, when you lay it out just right so I'm gonna I'm gonna lay this on here and I'm gonna measure so Michelle asks will the cute little person be for sale not the frozen Charlotte's they will not be sold separately but we have the Tim Holtz salvaged dolls, which can give a really similar look. Yeah, yeah. That she's on the little frozen Charlottes are only available in the kit. Yeah, yeah. I don't have enough of them to to um, to post them for sale. I might have some right here in the shop. I don't know. It just depends on what I have left over. I'm looking for my collage crackle. paste. Nope, that's crackle. And my collage medium is... At, is that it at the end over there? Over there. On the back Indeed on. it is. Cheryl's having... I know what's wrong. What? Her new iPad is freezing. What? Her new iPad is freezing up. Oh, no. And that's not... That's going to set her right off. Yeah, it is. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. Melissa has the flu, too. Oh, my oh. gosh. You guys. Oh, it's terrible. Cheryl. I'm very sorry to hear that. Everybody has to be healthy and happy for me. Yes. So let's get this coated with some collage medium, and then I'm going to put that paper on there. And by the way, our friend Melanie is here from... Uh, the Painted Bench Hamilton. You can find her if you are looking for a stockist of what IOD and 
um, what else? Recycled. Recycled in Canada. She's your girl. Painted Bench Hamilton. You have a website, right? Mm -hmm. Or is it? Okay, because I know you were saying it's hard to find on Etsy. Yeah. Paintedbench.ca. Paintedbench.ca, everybody. Because I know we do it. have some people here from Canada. What collage medium are you using on the Tim Holtz? I am using the Tim Holtz collage medium because it's just the best. I'm going to get this going straight. Um, Cheryl, Patrice said to tell you to reboot. <laughs> Your attitude. Ma. <laughs> Just every once of in a while. Of course she is. I'm too Melissa crazy. said she woke up just for us. Thank you, Melissa. Oh, Melissa. Melissa said, Yeah, I'm just got the flu. I'm sorry. All right, and then while this is still wet here, I'm going to go ahead and give it a quick coat of that decoupage medium right over the top. let that dry and we'll come back to it because we're going to add a lot of texture and crackly goodness on top of that. That's a pretty tissue paper. It's so pretty and I liked it because it does it picked up just that little bit of red. Um, I played around with some different papers on there and I landed on that one I just thought it worked. Okay so how are we going to do the top of this? The top I mean certainly you could go ahead and use this same decoupage paper. If you bought our kit the kit is going to have a piece of 1700s 1700s French ephemera. These are actually this looks like linen too doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And I'm talking 1700s. This one's 1785. They're, they're all different. Now, if you want to just save your little piece of uh, book page or ephemera, and again, I, I no custom requests, obviously. I get what I get, and we put them together. I promise you um, it's going to be lovely, no matter what. Cheryl, Judy says to turn your iPad off and then on again. And, and so what I did, and you don't have to, you can use this actual um, bit of ephemera on here, but why not um, get a little, uh, a little more bang for your buck? I ended up just photocopying the piece that I had, okay? And then you can reuse this, and, um, and yeah, you can reuse it. Okay, Elizabeth is wondering if you would bring her purchase back with her to Hamilton. Would you to Hamilton? Sure. And yes, I have been to Skinny Atlas, Judy, many times. I love it there. Have you been there, Mom? I think oh, you have. yeah, many times. Mm -hmm. I used to live in the Fayetteville Manlius area. It's not too crazy Can far. Wash it. No. So I just happened to notice that there is a tiny little bit of red right there. So I just may, um, I may snag that. What's the difference between decoupage medium and collage medium? Well, the collage medium is a different type of glue because it can be used not only for use, doing decoupage and collage, it can be used in assemblages. The, the Tim Holtz Distress Collage Medium actually can be used to glue, um, it can be used to glue metal to glass, glass to plastic, plastic to paper, metal to paper, metal to plastic, all, it will glue anything, basically. Okay, so I cut this, I just, you could also, I just creased this all around here, but you could also, um, you know, do a little tracing and trace that template of the top of the box onto your paper to cut it out. 
So I think what, what could be really sweet is if you use, if you made the copy of your paper and then you you included this in the little box and made a little treasure box of sorts, right? Linda asks, when would you use collage medium instead of liquid patina? Um, in this case, I, I just, it just happens to be my fave. It really does. And like I said, Linda, the collage medium can be used to glue um, different um, metals and plastics and glass to each other. Liquid patina is way thinner. Yes. It, it is be, much thinner. It yes. would be good for paper, but not much anything else. Right. Yes. That's exactly right. Yes. Andrea says she likes the brown color tinted collage medium by Tim Holtz. I've never seen that. Oh, no, I haven't. I haven't used that. Oh, we've, we've, I found it a couple weeks ago, but it's, mm. it was in a special kit. Oh, interesting. But it's, it's, it will, like, it's like almost like, um, it'll stain. If you put it over top, it would stain your pa oh, white paper. Oh, yes, yes, yes. It's really fun, but I don't Neat. think it's for sale anymore. Okay. Like, Maybe it was just like a limited it was in edition a kit. thing or, yeah. It came with, um. A regular collage medium, the grunge collage medium, and then some other product mm. came in the set of three. Hmm. I would bet you could tint that collage medium, right? Oh, of course. Yeah. That's what I Dag mean, Dagny and I were trying to figure out how we could create that. Yeah. But then I thought you could put a glaze over top of it to do the same of thing. Of course. True. And and the thing is, is if you were to start to add anything to this, I would be afraid that it could mess with the integrity of the adhesion. I wonder if pigment powder might be might work mm. oh sure yeah. yeah if you get the right yeah. um or with one of his stains but yeah. decrepit dust would that be too chunky yeah i i yeah I think. so now that this is dry i'll go ahead and take my little sanding block and i will clean off this tissue so oh, satisfying it's so satisfying this is megan's favorite part of any creating that we do no i really do like the way oh. that it makes like a clean edge when it's really dry yeah i like to watch her do it leah's here Hi, everybody's leah. saying hello hello to you melanie lots hello, of our friends hello. melissa and cheryl leah and aunt karen is here Hi, Karen. melanie did you ever meet my aunt karen well, they, yeah, she they came, came to, camp, to one of the right. camps. Yeah. I can't wait for camp. I know. Oh, I can't wait either. It's going to be so fun. All right. And so there, beautiful, nice, clean edge here. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add my texture mediums to this to give it some crackle and really grunge this up a bit. Cheryl just sent it. That's what she's talking about. Must be what yeah. she's talking about this oh, month. Oh, okay. And she has it, right? Yeah. Wow. Who has that? Cheryl. Of course Cheryl does. Cheryl, you have to bring it to camp. So we can yeah. We can, we can analyze it. <laughs> yes. Send it for, back for analysis. Oh, no, Aunt Karen's been sick, too. Oh, my gosh. What is going on with all of you? It's this time of year. It is. I know. Okay, so I'm going to be using two different Crackle products on this. Around the edge of the top, I'm going to use the Tim Holtz Opaque Crackle Paste. And then I'm going to use the Pentart Cracking Primer Crackle Varnish Component 1 and 2 for it's a classic, classic crackle. That's what I wanted to say. Just classic, simple, simple, classic crackle. You just said <laughs> 10 <laughs> words to describe. That was impressive. It is a tongue twister. Yes. Thank you, Melanie. Classic crackle. Yep. No, but all the words you said before, that to me was the tongue twister. <laughs> say that. Can you say that again? No, I can't. <laughs> so I'm going to apply this in kind of a random little pattern here. And I like to come up over the edge just a bit. And trust me, this is not going to look snowy and perfect by the time I'm done with it. It's going to be nice and grungy and aged. But yeah, I think um, 
first of all, I think these little mini boxes are so adorable and honest, as a base for anything. They're just fun to build upon. I'd like to know what everyone would keep inside that trinket box. Trinkets. Like what? <laughs> yeah, Megan. <laughs> like, those metal, like those metal trinkets that we just... Knickknacks. <laughs> okay. And patty wax. Mm -hmm. Okay. You could put a, a an ornament in here. Mm -hmm. It Jewel could just sit on a shelf. Your jewelry. Yep. Somebody could put an engagement ring in here. Wow. Imagine. Yeah. Yeah. To me, I don't care what you would put in this box. If somebody gave me this box as a gift, I would. it would truly delight me. Hmm. Adding to my notes for Mother's yeah, Day. Yeah, right. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you're going to make one? I That would thrill me. It really would, okay. Megan. If that's what you want for Mother's Day, fine. <laughs> <laughs> but there's only one place I know to get the supplies. <laughs> so I'll be yeah. taking out of inventory. <laughs> as we... <laughs> Dora, yes, we are live. We, Believe it or not, this is not a polished, edited performance. No, we are not highly polished here at LJ Goods. You get what you get, but I promise you, you get a good um, tutorial in the end if you can get through. And a good laugh. Yes. And a good laugh, yeah, if you can get through um, potential arguments, um, uh, mix ups. Uh, I am very flattered that you asked if we were live. Like, I am very Have flattered by that. Sure. Okay, dry. Michelle. Well, we'll let that air dry for a bit. Michelle asks, why different, two different crackle Well, mediums? because you're going to see, Michelle, did you notice that this is an opaque crackle paste? So it's, a, it, it's white when it goes on. It is not transparent. See this? And I just love that chippy, wonderful, oh, I love that grungy, chippy finish. And look, you can also pull some of it away so that it really looks extra chippy. I kind of like that. Ooh. So you can scrape some of this away and then um, it shows underneath. So this is going to be transparent. So we'll go ahead and do the transparent. First, we're going to do step one, which is the primer coat. And we will apply that. Kind of looks like glue going on. And then it will dry transparent. I used this in our video last week. Was I see? I've lost all track of dates. I can't even remember now what schedule I'm on. <laughs> oh, Melanie. It's the box is four inches, Aunt Karen. It's four. Inches. Okay. Four inches across. So I'm going to have Melanie dry that yes. one. Yes. yes. Four inches in diameter. Scented soap to give as a gift. Oh, that is a lovely. great idea. Would, that would be a really good um, gift mm -hmm. box. Yeah. You know, it could also be like, you know, put little sample sizes of stuff in there. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, if you've got a beauty queen in your family, uh -huh. like little samples of face lotion and. Yeah, yeah. Laura. Go to Sephora and get the little, all those little samples and, and, and spend $400 just. Yeah. We have all have of our Birchbox samples. Birch box samples. samples. <laughs> remember, box. remember Birchbox? Is that what it was called? Yeah, the yeah, subscription box that we all fall Well, for. I just, anytime I order from like Durham store or something, they send me coupons or Sephora. I mean, not coupons, but samples. I get usually give them to my niece. When you order from what? Like Sephora or Durham store. Oh. Um, I like it when you go in your birthday and you get to choose the. Yeah, that's your fun. birthday month. Laura said she would put candy in there. Oh, oh that's another great idea. Let's talk about, well, um, Little, well this a box is... of Lindor's. Yes. Or Ferrero's. Something fancy. Or sour jujubes. -jube oh, yeah. <laughs> Filled to the brim. Melissa's son is going to propose on Valentine's Day. <gasps> How well, sweet his is that? Beyonce's it? not listening. I know. I know. <laughs> Melissa, this isn't cool. Yeah, wow. 
All right, so let's talk about the other elements that I am using to build this beautiful little box. So if you get the kit, you're gonna get this little frozen Charlotte. Um, you're gonna get a set of the brass um, antique vintage aged wings. You're gonna get one of these little uh, flower crown pieces that it's gonna come like this and then we'll flatten it out. We'll flatten this one out. But we have these for sale now on our website after much, oh, I swear it took me forever to figure out these things. Can I get a stem of those? Mm -hmm. Can you put those on hold for me? <laughs> <laughs> so this can be either the little flower crown. So if you're interested in these little metal findings, it can be a little crown that you could add to the top of whatever, or you can flatten them out and they can be this cute little flower. They're all different, bright, they're rusted, patina, there's, there's paint, there's chippiness, there's, they're just wonderful grungy goodness on there. So we'll be, um, we'll be using this. We're going to be using the frozen Charlotte. I, this one that I'm doing is a bigger size. Yours in the kit will be about this length in a minute. Um, and I'll layer up the wings. Oh my gosh, isn't this incredible? So cool. And we'll do that a little bit later. But the your kit will also include one of these antique cigar bands. There's all different ones. So I'm going to try to pick out the very prettiest ones and make sure that it's got, you know, some red in it or something cohesive. Most of them do have red, but just so pretty. And that little bit of gold on there is excellent. So um, what we're going to do right now is we are going to create these little flower bundles. Now, instead of adding another $10 to the cost of the kit, <laughs> we just snipped these off from the Tim Holtz uh, Blossoms um, from Ideology. And I'm going to show you how I created these little gilded uh, flower bunches and these little red ones. And... You can use what I use, or you can use what you have. So we'll do the gilded ones first. Stephanie would like to know why they're called frozen. Because they're stiff as a board. Yeah. Yeah. We were trying to figure that. We were wondering that earlier today, why, how they got the name frozen Charlotte. So I'm going to Google it. It makes sense, though. They do look frozen. Yeah. And these are actually dug from um, under the earth They at... Um, these factories where they produce these little bisque dolls and frozen charlottes were a type of a doll that uh was just literally had no joints nothing like you that you ready yeah they're called frozen charlottes because they resembled small white corpses and were associated with the unfortunate story of charlotte Okay, what's the story of Charlotte? Well, now I have to go looking some more. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I am I have golden ticket here. You can use any metallic that you want, but I'm just going to dip these right into that golden ticket. It looks like you dip the edge of your nails into golden ticket. It's almost it the does. exact same Look color. It does. Look at that. So the name of the doll originates from the American folk ballad, Fair Charlotte, based on the poem, A Corpse Going to a Ball. By Seba Smith. <gasps> wow. Which tell hold on, which tells well oh, now I lost that part. History. Mary Jo, is that close is that close enough for the flowers or do you need for her to get closer? See that? So a corpse going to a ball by Sheba Smith which tells of a young girl called Charlotte who refused to wrap up warmly to go on a sleigh ride because she did not want to cover up her pretty dress, and she froze to death during the journey. A oh. cautionary tale. That's I, why you I tell your say. kids to wear their coat. Yeah, wow, I'm telling say. that tomorrow morning. I would say. Okay, so I dipped it in here, and then I'm just kind of blotting off a little, a little bit of that excess. And I can dip them again if I need to, whatever, you know, whatever it takes to get them coated to the degree of gildedness that you would like. 
And then we're going to set those aside to dry. Hi, Jenny from Arizona. Hi, Jenny. The little, um, the little red ones. She wants you to do a close-up. Mary Jo would like you to do a close-up of the actual lid. Oh, sure. Of course, Mary Jo. Anything for you, Mary Jo. <laughs> yeah, I will, dear. Isn't that pretty? Oh, look at all those layers and patina and... You know, and of course your your Charlotte, if you get it in the kit, will come in, in varying degrees of brokenness because <laughs> that's the way that they were. They they actually at these bisque factories, they the broken ones or the ones that were mis um, fired or whatever would be discarded, and they would just dump them out the the backs of these factories and then plow them over with with dirt. So. Um, just like the English Crocs were dug from city dumps, these are dug from the backs of those or from the grounds of those factories. Probably just like they did with old Charlotte after she... Poor old Charlotte. <laughs> That's right. That's what, no laughing matter. No. But, uh, um, you know. Oh, okay. is, you need to bring her back for Halloween, I think. Okay, so I this is my really other idea. little bundle. And... You can do the same thing. You can dip this in a red paint, but I decided since I love these mica stains, this one is tart cranberry. It's from Christmas. Um, and I realize not everybody has these, but I just love the little bit of shimmer that it gives. That is a great red. It's such a good red. What's it called? Tart cranberry. Right. Mine is almost empty, but I love this red. And mine is. You can really dip, really dip them in that. Well, it's not plugged. It's just um, I'm kind of toward the bottom, and so it's I got it, and what I'm trying you, to tip it the right way. I was gonna say, what if I if you hold it up and I hold the paper, so you can hold the bottle upright? You know what I mean? Yeah, no, it really looks like blood. The, yeah, it looks, looks like a crime there. scene. It looks cool on the paper, actually, if you flip it over. Oh, it sure does. Yeah, mine because mine is almost empty. Dang. Take the top off and just pour a little on there. I saw them. Oh, there we go. Also, I think if you were to have sprayed that inside a little plastic baggie, you could do that, it too. It would have preserved. You wouldn't waste so much. You know what I mean? It, you, you could move it around mm -hmm. and it would absorb. Like the ribbon. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying so hard to avoid getting my hands all a big old mess here. Mary Casey says, Inside Edition just had a segment on about college girls going out in the freezing cold without jackets on so they don't mess up their outfits. One girl did freeze to death walking home from the bar. What? That's, that's recent. That's enough. Girls, put your jacket on. Seriously. Well, there's always kids walking to school without coats on, too. Not my kids. They don't See, Jonathan's sitting right there. He has his, Jonathan has a jacket and a hat on right Still now. Still on. <laughs> Joe. Yep. Oh my gosh, look at I am a bloody mess. It's looking more like Halloween all the time. I know, oh, right? <laughs> oh my goodness. Honey. <laughs> Just wants to annoy me. You know, it's a family affair here. It's going to be a say, JR. It's going to be a frozen JR in a minute. <sighs> Your wife should be thankful that she's got you. Oh, <laughs> that was JR. Oh, yeah. Can that you believe JR just opened a fortune that said And that. he didn't even eat Chinese food for lunch. Yeah, so you don't get that. Yeah. It goes to somebody else. Well, I never even opened mine. I never even opened mine. All right, so we've dyed our <laughs> hands. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go wash my hands Table. real quick. Yeah. Do you want me to sit in? So just don't do what mom did and use a um, Ziploc use bag love. or a Ziploc bag, and then you won't waste so much of your mica spray. You can just do a lovely? couple sprays. Oh, JR's really did say sweet memories are the paradise of the mind. Oh, isn't that nice? 
Yes, the the one in the one in the story. Her name was Charlotte. That's where these dolls got their name from. Yeah, gloves would be great, Stephanie. What would be great? Gloves. Stephanie suggested gloves. Gloves. Yeah. If she I had have some, here. it would be wonderful. Yeah. Yeah, I'd love some gloves. Maybe I can have some for you before the end of the year. I have a paper towel. I know. Now you have a nice pink. Yeah. Okay, so we've got our two little flower bundles dyed. <laughs> Don't even bother. <laughs> we have a blood spatter analysis. Who knew Inside Edition was still... Is it still out a churning out wow. episodes? Okay, so we have our... This is the opaque crackle. And I'm going to go ahead and dry this super quick. And you'll see that it makes this wonderful, cracky, cheapy, like kind of mini crackle. Which I love this. So good. And Look it's at so that. nice and easy, too. It's so easy. Yeah, not two steps, just one. So Melanie is here. We've been playing with, we've been just playing with IOD, haven't we, Melanie? We got playing it. with projects, playing with a little of this and a little of that. And looking for things. Looking for things. Yeah, I brought, so I brought her um, the beautiful French book back from Market. Send her pictures of it, or I sent, brought a couple of them. Yeah. And sent me videos. Sent her videos, videos of them, leafing through them, and didn't think I can find those. I cannot find that one book. I can't find your pile of books. But there is a lot of, there are a lot of moving parts going on here at LMJ Goods right now. If you could see the shop, I cannot wait to show you guys a walkthrough because... There's a lot of good stuff happening out there. It's going to make it really easy to shop. It's going to make it easier for Megan to locate product to ship. Yes. And um, we're excited. I'm very excited. Judy said she knows people from four cases that are on Dateline. <gasps> One of them she used to babysit. Judy, I want the case of what happened to you on that cruise on Dateline. Yes. That's the mystery I want to solve. Four different Dateline cases. Oh my god! That is a claim to fame. I would, I would meet every person I met. I would tell them that first. <laughs> Dateline is like unsolved, is like crimes, right? Yes. Yeah. And they're like kind of current. All right, so that's nice and dry. I don't know. Can you see the crackles that are happening? They're going to be even more evident when we put the dark wax on. So before we do that, let me go ahead and glue on one of my little cigar bands. I think I'll put that right there. So I'm going to use some collage medium. Do you not have Dateline in Canada? Yep. I just don't watch TV very much. Yeah. 48 hours. Yeah. With Keith Morrison. D no, that's Dateline, isn't it? Right. And then there's 2020, of course. Oh, Meryl knows a person on Dateline who had a stalker. He's in jail now, but he may get out any time. <gasps> my gosh, this you guys. This is turning into a Halloween episode. I've only got one murder mystery under my belt. And that's a good one, but you've still never told that one, I don't think. Yeah, I don't know if I have. And I don't know that I would want to share that live. I might share it. I could share it at, like, that would be a good campfire story. Right. <laughs> this as well and then yeah. I'm going to start applying some wax to our pieces here. I'm going to drag the top 
Oh, this is, yep. Just try that little thing. And I'm just using Debbie's DIY Dark Wax. Let me just get a little bit in here. And that is going to show those lovely cracks, I think. Where are my cracks? Would you chip some of this off? Well, you know what? Here's what would a good thing would be is to you actually put, put crackle <laughs> step two on. <laughs> All right, so let's do step two. How about that? <laughs> that should be dry. Beautiful. So now, yeah. Let me uh, let me throw some. You think that's gonna go over the wax? Well, sure. I wiped it off. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. Step one, I mean. That is step one. Mm -hmm. Now we're putting step two over our step one. Good catch. All right. Oh, glad I didn't wax that entire thing. And if it, if I do get some resist on there, that's okay too. We'll see that what happens. Might look kind of fun too. What would happen if, right? It's always a good question to ask. Yeah, it's resisting a little bit, but that's all right. I don't mind. Kind of beating up so just in that little area where I put the wax. Resist but. and crackle. Absolutely. Like, how much better could it be? We'll see what happens. Okay. Do you need to finish the bottom of it to seal it? Well asked. To finish the bottom. Finish the bottom of the box? Well, you can paint the bottom of it. You can do whatever you want. I mean, this is, to seal it, no, this isn't going to be, like, watertight or anything. So I'm not exactly sure what you mean, Al, but. All right. Let me get a second, the second step. Yet. Oh, it's not. Okay. Well, we better get that dry. So, yeah, cool. Let's, um. Let's think of some other things that you could do. on These would make a wonderful little Christmas box. As it is, it's either great for Valentine's or Christmas. You're re yes, mm -hmm. you're absolutely right. Yes. Or for every day. Mm -hmm. You know what I want to do? I would love to build up one of these little boxes with the little uh, tiny pets houses. Mm. Oh my gosh, wouldn't that be adorable? Yeah. Christmas in July. Christmas in July. Plex House um, on a box, on, a box, okay. on boxes. That would be so cute. We're trying to place an order in a restaurant. <laughs> Jeez. Anybody have any questions? Have we gotten to the bottom of the the cruise boat? The cruise she hasn't mystery. told the what happened on the cruise ship, but she did tell the mystery. She babysat a boy, okay, who was, who was murdered, let's say. Okay. Um, that's one of them. Her mom worked with a lady whose daughter killed her husband. Oh, jeez. Creepers, creepers. Um, my daughter worked with the daughter of the girl who was kidnapped in Utah. <gasps> I think you can oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm crackling the top now. I put down step one, component one, and now I'm going to add the um, component two. <laughs> Kathy said, I had some chalk paint that went rancid. I went and had and was painting with it. My husband walked in the room, made a face, and asked if I was feeling okay. <laughs> anyway, do you think the paint was still good to use? No, that's a mystery. It is. If it's real chalk, like if it's Annie Sloan or if it's DIY yeah. and it's got bacteria in it, you can still use it. It, it just stinks. Okay, thank you. The crackle does not, does not come in the kit. No, it does not. None of the no, mediums no. come in the kit. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because honestly, if you wanted to do, I mean, first of all, it would be so time consuming for us to 
divvy up tiny little samples. We just can't. And many, many of you already have all of this stuff, so. Oh, yeah, you could use a bunny mold on the top for Easter. Oh, that would how be so cute. cute. Really. Think of, like, your IOD molds that could go on here. Does Tim Holtz have bunnies? He does, and I have got a cute little project that we're going to be doing with the Tim Holtz Salvage Rabbit and Bobble Eggs coming up someday soon. Stephanie's getting a new hip soon. That's exciting. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah. she's, well, happy. she's yeah. happy about it. I know. Yeah, yeah I'm right. sure that um, it would feel, you're going to feel like a new, a woman with a, a new, new hip. woman. Yeah. Hip recovery is very easy. Yeah. Shirley would know. Well, She's the bionic woman over here. Me, yes, because my brother-in-law went through it the same time I did, and he was going back to work in three weeks. Wow. And that's a man, too. Yeah, and they whine. Oh. <laughs> How do you yeah. know when you need... Well, I just... I begin to wonder, like, all right, am I going to need a hip replacement? I don't know. Probably. Probably. We're all going to need some kind of replacement. You'd be in a lot of pain. What's yeah. that? You'd be... Usually you're in a lot of pain. Yeah. Oh, hip, Judy said, hip. did you get hip? No, mm -hmm. knee. Knee and foot. Judy said she, when she was on the cruise ship, she gradually lost the use of her arms. I didn't tell the doctor there because they would have flown me home and it would have cost a million dollars. And she was having fun. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> but by the time she got home, she couldn't raise her arms. Had they figured out why, Judy? That must be a scary feeling. It's horrible. I'm going to give you a nice close-up of this, too, so you can see the crackle. See where that crackle is on there? That's the Pentart two-part crackle. I love it. That is cool. That looks really great. And even paper. where it resisted a little bit, Let's it's a little it. splotchy. Oh, it's perfect. Isn't that great? So we just discovered a new technique. Oh, my goodness. Can you see that, you guys? Can the you techniques see? are just yeah. happy accidents. They really are. Wow. That's neat. I love this. Okay, and now we'll go ahead and we'll wax up the top. And it really does grunge it right up. And if you think that's too dark, you can always go in with some clear and mm, take some yes. extra off. Mm -hmm. Which I just always think is magical. It's so magical. I like how that just leaves the wax in the cracks. Yeah. Wax in the cracks, wax in the cracks. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that guy? What was it that was uh, from... Not America's Got Talent, but what was the other music show that was where, where that they was just on? did the singing? Yeah, the voice with Simon Cowell and that's American Idol. American yeah. Idol, and there was that guy that was like pants on the ground, pants on the ground, oh, looking yeah. like a fool with your pants on yeah. the ground. <laughs> he was like early, early in the. Show. He was very early. So there is it. Tim Holtz, distress, <laughs> opaque cracking paste but look at that and you can you can rub some of that chip some of that off to make it look even um, crustier and grungier oh, oh so good cheryl said simply pants on the ground pants <laughs> on the ground judy why couldn't you drink diet coke she said she bought the diet coke package on the cruise and couldn't drink it judy why? Is, what is going on i just want to get to the bottom of all of Yep. Right? I think I need to. I don't think I have crackle paste. You do you have, have crackle, crackle paste? paste? No, I don't think Melanie, I what is the matter with you? I always use crackle <laughs> varnish, but I never paste this one. Paste this one. All right. So now I am going to assemble my assemblage. So we will. Put this little piece up here. 
Now, you can use the collage medium or you can use E6000. Actually, I used a combination of E6000 and I also used some of the collage medium with this. So, it's kind of whatever you have. I'm going to go ahead and use our Type on Quick and Thick. If you want your things to quickly stick, Type, type on Quick and Thick. Available at Ellen Jacobs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Melanie. I have not heard that one before. You have yeah, what? Right. No. That's her uh, most famous yeah, song. Yeah, yeah. All the time. <laughs> That's even more famous than Oscillating Wind Band. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Oh, she had, Judy had a burning tongue and she couldn't swallow. <gasps> Good Lord! Not even a diet coke to get you through. It's not that nice. That's sad. I love it. Little peak of red font right up there. Okay, and then I want to kind of lay this out to see how I want my. Melissa is shocked, Melanie, that you've not heard that song. <laughs> we sing it every time we use type bond, and the best oh, yeah. version is when Leah is here. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> she can har am, she can harmonize with I mom. I don't chime in very well. There. Me too, reluctantly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna lay this down. Look at that beautiful little crown that happens there. Okay, so let me get. Gilly loves that dark wax. That dark wax is da bomb. Your hair is a little bit. I love you. Oh, hair. sorry. Wow, I thought Melanie was a was a fan. Was a true fan. It's yeah, not because she's got her own business going on. <laughs> Obviously, these were going to take a minute to dry, um, more than a minute. Did you put a little drop of hot glue to go with the tight bond? Yeah. Possibly. Um, the other thing I would do is I would wait, you know, put a little weight on the top of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then it takes time for the rest. The of rest of it dries. Yeah. And because you're you're dealing with metal, it's it's going to take a little longer, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, E six thousand is an option. I don't know. I I like E. Oh, look at her little buns are unbisked. <laughs> But there, there you go. There's a perfect example of maybe, you know, a factory reject. Mm -hmm. um, she didn't get completely covered in the bisque, the glaze, and so she would have gotten tossed out the back door. To freeze her little tushy off. To Boy, freeze girl. her buns. <laughs> her unbisked buns. <laughs> And I am a little heavy on the glue here, but I always am. Oh, I forgot to put this under there. That's the, scar the scarf to go with her mm -hmm. coat that she's not wearing. Yes. This could be an entire, like, tale of the frozen Charlotte. I love these, and I love that everyone is different, and everyone's been rescued from the ground, and just found those wonderful old treasures. Oops, not completely dry. Not completely. <laughs> Mira said, it's time to glue her, glue her butt crack down. <laughs> yes, and I did. Hey, Jean. 
And Meryl also said that the glue sticks better if um, you sing the song. Oh, oh yeah. There you go. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Kathy said, I love the Oregon Trail travel story. Oh, my god! It got me wondering at what price Megan would have said no to that margarita. I... <laughs> If I'm being really honest with myself, I probably would have gone up with upwards of forty dollars. No, <laughs> I would have never let you. You would. Well, she couldn't stop me. I was being very discreet. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, what was that dancing queen? Oh, that one was about Shirley. She you is the, the no, 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 oh, the, the resin queen, <laughs> young and sweet, walking, on, on, to walking on to clean. That was a really we need a greatest hits album. Like oh yesterday. my gosh, that's our that, There you go. There's our next million, Megan. I'm imagining the songs, the words. Jonathan can make us something where the word, the titles of the songs scroll across the screen. Oh, <laughs> oh please, Jonathan, are you listening? Please. We need a bouncing ball. That would be so. A Bouncing Charlotte. Oh my gosh, it would be so great at the end of our LG Good. It would be an videos. ad. It would be an ad because we're gonna. Well, this isn't gonna be free. Oh, this I is gonna cost you this download. <laughs> Walking on two feet. Were you here, or were we just singing about you? I can't remember. No, it was when I came back because I was actually walking on two feet. How do you trek an oscillating wind band? <laughs> We've had a lot of hits around here. I please bring that. Remind me of other ones we've had. If anybody can remember, I get so because I forget them instantly. I guess they're no longer one hit wonders, are they? No, no, no we're not a one hit wonder no. anymore. We've got three hits under our belt <laughs> at least. I know there's more. Well, I can tell you if you want to really go back, dig back in the archives. Yes. There could be. It could be from when you kids were little and our poo cat. And yes. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, poo, poo, yeah. kitty. So Just many. about a cat from New York yeah. City. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, that was a good one. Oh, I've got a million of them. Oh, so there she is. I would totally let her sit and just dry on her own. <laughs> that resin queen. Yes, <laughs> really good. One. Resin queen. <laughs> oh, we were so happy for being <laughs> oh. oh my goodness! So there you go. There is your frozen Charlotte assemblage kit. Yes. She's beautiful, Mom. I there. love how it's chipping off. Yeah. Yes, really. That cool. little bit of chipping off of the edge mm -hmm. there. It's beautiful. I would say congratulations to those of you that got your kit. There might be a couple left. I don't know what there, that status I is. Think, I can tell you exactly how many we have left. Hold on, please. Mm -hmm. Um, have you ever seen what Shirley looks like? She has been on a few videos, and I get. I'm sure we're gonna have her guesting again. <laughs> oh yeah, before she's before you know it. Yes. She's been on, on a jewelry. I know she did a jewelry, jewelry episode. Yeah. Uh huh. We need to do another jewelry episode. Yeah, that's what we need to do with Miss Shirley. Let's see how many we have left. I'm just getting a little bit of so Charlotte doesn't look quite so bloody. Yeah, please. That sounds like a cocktail. There's three left. Oh. Okay. So that's that. Jump on me. But like I said on um. On Friday, not this Friday, but next Friday, a week from Friday, I will have on YouTube an edited video showing you how to create this box using alternative um, uh, products, okay? And yeah, so we'll, we'll take it from there. And if you want to prep for that, they're all in the collection for today. Yep. Things that she's going to show. Yep. So I will show you again real quick before we sign off. My goodness, there's a lot of, uh, see the, the media mist or the, the Tim Holtz stain is, um, water soluble. So you do have to be careful about where you get that case in point. <laughs> um, but, um, you could also like anything that you're using with the, um, the, the spray, 
uh, you could give it a quick coat of like a Krylon or something like that to seal these up. But there they are. There are your Beautiful. two boxes. Um, Fill it with Werther's Originals. Yeah. So we have done some, let me flip this down. We have done a set of these die cut wings. People are already buying them. We just posted them, which can be aged and distressed and waxed. And you can do all kinds of things with these so that you can uh, use them with, a little uh, background you could use it cherubs you could do so many things with these um, what the heck I would even use like a cameo mold mm -hmm. yeah. would be pretty with mm -hmm. these behind it or one of the hearts like our, oh, our yeah. you know like one of these that I did uh, the fleur de lis has a heart doesn't it yeah mold oh I took I took it up front it's hanging on the end cap of my big long island with the other tim holtz things we have this little set of the rusty flower crowns that can also be flattened out and um yeah those we used uh oh i'm going to show you another alternative instead of 17th century french ephemera or ephemera, you could use uh, one of the monahan papers that has all of the little tiny script on it all right, you can use that. Um, and the other thing, the blossoms from, these would be the blossoms, and I just cut these apart, and you can dye those or dip them in gold however you want. And then, you know, yes, this is a, an antique cigar band, but you could also use little bits of um, just little bits of collage, you know, ephemera, snippets, little, little things. Yeah. So here's, um, like this heart here from, from the Fleur de Lis. Yeah. Fleur de Lis. But I mean this, look, I use the pink backdrops. You can use backdrops. You can use mm -hmm. old book pages. You can use whatever you want to build these out, um, to build out your little assemblages. So there you go. Gorgeous. Okay. Well, thank you guys. And I hope you have a lovely day. We will not be here on Friday, but I will send a, a link. I'll send a, a link via text and email to let you know when that video is up and ready on YouTube, unless you have already hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, then you will know when we drop that video over on YouTube. So um, have a lovely week and we will see you live on Monday. We've got a whole new lineup of projects ready for you. And um, yeah. I guess we'll see you then. Every one of you that's not feeling well, feel better oh, soon. Oh, please feel better yes. soon. And Cheryl, I hope you're happier. Yes, Cheryl, I really hope. Um, I hope that everything's going okay with your iPad. Yeah, let's um, let's try to get through the February blues now. That's right. <laughs> okay. All right. Take let's care. Let's get guys. through just a fish fry season. That's all. <laughs> just gotta make it through. No fun until fish fry season. That's a new song I'll be working on. Oh, well, there already is one. <laughs> oh, Friday Night Fish Fry, but my song is going to be called No Fun Till Fish Fry Season. Okay. All right. Bye, you guys. Fish. I mean, fish. Are we done? Mm -hmm. It's fish fry season.